We heard a lot of different um, threads going back and forth between the U.S. as well as China, ZTE, Micron, uh, Sprint and T-Mobile. As we head towards Friday, the $34 billion in tariffs, what are we holding in our hand? I I'm imagining this snowball that we're trying to bring things together. What are we holding here to make heads or tails of what's happening? This is an escalating dispute. It's probably going to even go beyond what we see today. You know, you have these $34 billion of tariffs slated to go into effect July 6. Yeah. This we got to remember. You know, a lot of people say we don't like tariffs and no one likes tariffs. But we got to remember that these tariffs are being imposed on the, under the authority of Section 301 of the Trade Act of 1974. This is for China's theft of U.S. intellectual property. And the U.S. has not ever been able to really come to terms as to how to deal with this. But we know the dimensions are somewhere in the hundreds of billions of dollars a year. So something has got to be done. Tariffs may not be the right way, but nonetheless, no one's been able to figure out anything better because we've had decades of discussions with Beijing about this, and we don't seem to get anywhere. So we do have to impose some costs. It's going to hurt us, right. but nonetheless, um, I think that what we're doing is absolutely necessary. But businesses, uh, uh, politicians, as well as voters, they're all saying, you know, this is going to hurt. We don't want this to hurt. Uh, to what degree will there be pain, and can we get through it after this $34 billion? Well, there's certainly going to be pain because you can't have decades of misguided U.S. trade policies and to think that we can get out of it without having some sort of detriment to ourselves. But we got to remember that we hold the high cards here. Mm -hmm. For one thing, we are the trade deficit country. $375.2 billion of merchandise trade deficit last year with China. Trade deficit countries generally win trade wars. But even more important, last year, 88.8% .8 of China's overall merchandise surplus related to sales to the U.S. We're the much bigger economy. We're an economy which is actually, in reality, growing faster than China. You put all that together, it says that President Trump has the high cards. The only question is, do we have political will? Mm. Now, I think that President Trump, by talking about an additional 200 and actually $400 billion of tariffs, is demonstrating yeah. political will. So he should be able to win this one. Gordon, it's Yvonne in Hong Kong. Great to talk to you again. Um, yeah, but is there a limit to that? I mean, the fact that China has retaliated on imports like soybeans, I mean, they're clearly targeting Trump states. Is he going to, fit, is the president going to hit a limit here as he gets closer to the midterms? Yeah, well, you know, of course, this is something where, you know, China has been very careful in trying to figure out how to go after Trump voters. But we also got to remember that we've only got like 105 or so billion dollars in exports to China. I forget the exact number. But the point is, you know, China's going to run out of um, bullets pretty soon. And I think that essentially Trump supporters are probably strong enough and will stay with him. Yeah, of course, there is going to be problems with all of this. But we got to remember that China is in a very difficult position as well because Xi Jinping is, I think, in a precarious position. He is certainly responsible for this trade, um, conf uh, trade issue uh, um, from the Chinese point of view, which really means that he's also got political will issues on his side.